Malawi is a small African country of 15 million people. Every year, more than 600,000 babies are born in Malawi, 73% of them in hospitals. Unfortunately, 18% of these babies are born prematurely. It's the highest rate of preterm birth in the world. And Malawi has very few resources to help these babies. Per capita health expenditures are only $31. And in a country with over 600,000 newborns, there are only eight pediatricians. When you think about the challenges that babies in Malawi face and what is needed to help them, the first thing that comes to mind is probably not college students. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rebecca Richards Cordham. I'm here with my colleague Maria Oden from Rice University. And we'd like to tell you how college students are changing global health. Over half of premature babies will struggle to breathe because their lungs are immature. It's really heartbreaking to watch. In places like Washington, D.C., this is easily treated using a technology called CPAP, where a soft set of rubber prongs is placed inside a baby's nose and used to deliver a mix of pressurized air and oxygen. When CPAP was introduced in the United States, rates of survival for premature babies with respiratory distress rose from 25 to 70%. But unfortunately, CPAP machines cost $6,000, and they require infrastructure that is not available in Malawi. In 2009, our collaborator, pediatrician Liz Molyneux, asked our team to develop a CPAP machine that could work in Malawi. Using two aquarium pumps that were encased inside a plastic shoebox from Target, our team developed a $150 bubble CPAP machine. In 2010, we took that device to Malawi, where we got all sorts of useful feedback from nurses about how to make the system easier to use. We made those changes, and in 2011, Jocelyn Brown, one of the student inventors, took the device to Malawi, where she carried out a study to see if it could improve outcomes for newborns. And what we found in that study was that survival improved from 24% to 65%, mirroring the, the improvement that was seen when CPAP was introduced in the United States. We licensed the technology to Third Stone Design, and together we've taken it through international regulatory approval. With support from USAID, CPAP is now available in all 28 government hospitals in Malawi, and it's expanded to other countries in the region. We continue to be inspired by the Malawian and the American undergraduate inventors who, with support from the Lemelson Foundation, continue to invent new technologies to improve outcomes for newborns in Malawi. This summer, we were in Malawi, where we had the privilege to watch this group of students go out to an orphanage school and talk to a, gr a group of kids about why it's important to study science. Francis Mossy, the undergraduate electrical engineer that you see in this photo, gave those students some of the best advice I've ever heard. He told the students to remember that everything in science starts out as something small. He told them that we must continue creating and inventing. We must pursue ideas that have the potential to make the world better even if we have limited resources, and even if the ideas seem impossible. Thank you.